Welcome to the AE Juice tutorial. Here we'll look at a package of seamless transitions. And let's find out how to apply transitions to videos. There are many categories of transitions in this package. They're suitable for a wide variety of videos and different editing points. Before we start adding transitions to our video, I'll talk a little bit about the settings. I'll hit the pause button so I don't get distracted by the previews. Here on the right, you can adjust the scale of these previews. Moving on, the first icon is a set of tools of the AE Juice plugin. This button is for the zoom category of transitions. Here we can filter our transitions. Let's choose the direction upwards. And now only transitions with this direction are displayed here. Let's choose some more filters. And as you can see, all transitions with a given direction of movement are displayed. I choose Show All to reset the filter. Next, you can choose where to soften the transition animation. In, In plus Out, Out. Here you can set the transition length. The available values are displayed in this list. The default setting is 1 second. In this setting, you can add some shake effect to your video during the transition. There are seven modes available. Next, you can set motion blur. Now it is on and you can turn it off by selecting 0% or reduce its effect by selecting 50%. Now let's talk about transition styles. There are 11 styles to choose from. Here's the default style with no additional effects. Then there are exposure, glow, chromatic aberration, several styles with these effects combined, 360 colors as well as neon light and monochrome. We'll come back to them a little later. Here are three more tools to speed up your work in After Effects. Now let's look at our video. I'll drag the playhead where the videos join. I'll choose a transition and then choose a style for it. And now I just click on the import button. Here on the timeline, you can also change the transition length. Let's take a look at the result. I think it turned out great. I'll add one more transition. Now I will select a transition from another category and set a different style for it. I click on the import button again and I will change the duration of the transition. Well, that's a great result. The video became more dynamic with the transitions applied. And it only took a few seconds. Quick and easy. And as you would have noticed, these transitions contain sound. This is a cool feature that will improve the sound design in your videos. Now let's move to Premiere Pro and apply the transitions here. First, let's preview the original video. Here, the transitions are presented as Mogit. To edit them, you'll need to open the Essential Graphics panel. And before adding the transition, I'll just select two videos and drag the desired transition here. The transition will automatically get to the junction of the two videos. And it also creates a new sequence with your video when you import it. In the Essential Graphics panel, drag and drop the new sequence into the placeholder and you're done. I'll add one more transition. Since this clip is undivided, I'll make a cut at this point. You can easily filter the transitions into different directions. I'll click on this icon and choose a direction. Now I just import the transition and drag and drop the new section into the placeholder. This transition can be customized. I'll set the centers in and out. Done! We got a cool video with spectacular transitions and audio effects. You can add different styles to your transitions and edit them in the edit panel in the plugin. And all settings are saved for each transition at the next import. I'll also add a style to the second transition on the Essential Graphics panel. You can choose whatever you like. Awesome! You've learned how to use seamless transitions. So now it's time to start creating your own project with AEJuice.